VC, how are we? Thanks for tuning in again to Station Vinyl Boy Trigger. Um, this is a video I've been planning for quite a while um, and haven't got round to it, but today we're going to try and shoot it. Um, in my backyard, beautiful day, very different weather report to headbanging Blackmore Rules um, report. Um, yeah, beautiful. Um, so this is going to be a thread response that uh, Steve at Flipside TV, um, TV, Flipside CT, um, Flipside CT, um, yeah, ask people, ask people to do, just to show albums under the radar, and the idea of it was to, you know, he he goes to a lot of record shows and he sees a lot of the sort of younger crew, younger than a lot of us on the VC, um, are buying just pretty sort of common commercial sort of albums. And he just sort of, he wanted us to do some videos so people can just type in search albums under the radar and maybe us in the VC can help them out with some, give them some directions and some stuff that's got flies under the radar, not so commercially successful. Um, you know, he's big into, Steve's big into, um, you know, promoting the whole vinyl thing and passing on to the next generation. That's the feeling I get from him. And, you know, I do definitely do that with sort of any of the kids that come around. Any of my friends, any of my kids' friends that come around, I sort of always bring them into the garage. And, you know, the kids are always saying, no, Dad, no. And I don't want another, any more dad jokes or in the garage and doing any needle drops. But I'd like to show them the, um, the records and just do a few needle drops. And, you know, pretty much all the kids' reactions are, whoa, so that's cool. So planting a little bit of a seed there and talk a little bit about, you know, Beatles or Beach Boys, something that's sort of easy for them to sort of pop out to. So, anyway, so I think that's, yeah. So that's sort of the theme, of the idea of this thread, is just to sort of plant the seeds for the next generation to discover stuff. Now, under the radar, um, did I press record? Yes. Um, now, these... These are very well-known artists, really, um, and they've sold millions of copies, so as I was sort of just about to record this video, I was thinking, are they under the radar? But I don't know. I think they are. They're not... I mean, they're not... I didn't want to go for too obscure to... or go for albums that are just hard to find, or like some maybe some Aussie stuff that you're not going to find over there in the States or UK or Europe or wherever, anywhere else other than Australia. So, sort of stuff that's probably easily accessible, affordable, and I think flies under the radar. So, a mix of CDs and vinyl. Okay. Gary Moore. Love Gary Moore, and this is a brilliant album. Still got the blues. Just a very cool, rockin', bluesy album. You know, there's a lot of songs on here you'll know. Still got the blues. Um... Oh, Pretty Woman, Moving On, Texas Strut, Midnight Blues, um, just this, you'll be bopping out, you rocking out and bluesing out when you listen to this album, so Gary Moore, Still Got the Blues, just a really cool, bluesy, rocky album, very cool. Um, I only found this one again recently, this CD, I used to listen to it when I was living in the UK, I used to listen to it all the time and absolutely loved it and I'm so ha happy I found it again um, Everything But The Girl um, Amplified Heart this is a beautiful album uh, Duet uh, I think they're actually a couple in the end but they're pretty quiet just a beautiful voice sort of what do you call it sort of like pop jazz sort of type sort of feel about it just Really smooth and beautiful voice. Um, probably the biggest song is Missing. Um, but Everything But The Girl, great band. And I think they fly under the radar. And this album is tremendous. Absolutely love it. It's just so smooth. Smooth. It's a good way to probably say it. This is a band that doesn't get talked about much. And I don't get much love in the VC. Uh, Linkin Park. I really dig these guys. Um... You know, it's from their first sort of um, album, Hybrid Theory, moving on. This is, I think, their fourth or something like that. Just, I mean, 
sort of alternate rock, new, I think new metal they sort of call it. So, it's, and they sort of move from that hard alternate rock and through their discography and moved on to sort of um, a bit more electronic sort of bass, new metal. This is sort of somewhere in between that sort of progression. And this is probably one of my favorite of theirs. Just some hard hitting stuff, but also some real cool sort of funky sort of hip hoppy ballad -y type songs too. Um, yeah, this is a really good album. Um, minutes, to, minute to midnight, minutes to midnight. Uh, Lincoln Park, not given a lot of love, but yeah, big song. What I've done, which is, I think on the Transformer soundtrack, just. Pretty hard hitting, but also really sort of hip hoppy, electronic sort of, not quite electronic, but just sort of new metal transitioning to sort of electronic, but got some grass grassroots of sort of rock in there as well. So, Linkin Park. Pearl Jam, obviously everyone knows Pearl Jam. This is an album that I think that goes under the radar from them. You know, it moves away from a little bit of their grungy, heavy rock sort of stuff, alternate rock stuff to this one. There's some, still some heavy tracks on there, but um, this one's called Yield, sorry. Um, this one, some sl slower ballads on there, some beautiful songs and things like Given to Fly and Wish List, Wish List are absolutely beautiful songs and I love the lyrics and Wish List. Wish List. Check that out, but um, you know, everyone knows this band and I think this album does fly a little bit under the radar. It's a great album, The Pearl Jams. This is an Aussie band that I absolutely love, The Living End. Famous songs, other albums, Prisoner of Society, um, Wake Up. But this, I think this is about the third, probably the fourth, I could be wrong. Um, album, White Noise. This is a brilliant album. I absolutely love this album. Um... Raise the Alarm, my favourite on this. White Noise, there's so many great tracks on this. Living End, alternate rock, heavy hitting. Um, just three piece band, they've got a double bass, um, guitarist and drummer. Um, but just, I oh, love that sort of, they got their grassroots from um, rockabilly sort of stuff and brought that through. And absolutely love this. Link, Living End, White Noise. Tool, and so these are all well-known bands. Tool's well-known band. That metal, progressive metal, or something like that, as they might call it, electronic metal, anemia, anemia, something like that. It's called. This is a brilliant album. Introduced by a friend many years ago, well, when it came out in '96, I think maybe you heard it about '98 or something like that. Just a hard-hitting electronic sort of metal album. Love it. Love to... I haven't <laughs> listened to many of the other albums, and but this one I just pff, love it. Bush, I think a, a band that flies under the radar a bit. Not very well, not often shown the VC. This is their debut, I think it is, 16 Stone. Great sort of alternate rock post-grunge, grungy, probably a bit of post-grunge sort of, I guess they sort of say, um, awesome, hard-hitting, brilliant lyrics, um, vocals, vocals, um, Gavin Rosdale, Everything Zen, Come Down, one of my favourite songs ever, um, Little Things, Machine Head, Glycerine, quite famous songs, but, you know, I think a little bit under the radar. And as I say, a long theme of well-known bands, but albums that maybe not shown or underappreciated, Coldplay. You know, the first, say, four, Coldplay are awesome. But this is probably my favourite, X and Y. Absolutely love this. Um, brilliant songs. Square One, What If, Fix You, um, Speed of Sound. Um, Swallowed in the Sea, I think that one, yeah, that's a brilliant song. Brilliant song. This is a great, great album. I don't think very much, very much shown. Now some bit of vinyl. Now these also want. These are a couple of things that you probably get for a down, around a dollar. Couple next couple. 
Good John Denver. Look, he's not under the radar. I mean, he's sold, you know, a gazillion records. But I just thought I'd show something that's cheap, easy to get, easy accessible, and maybe not sure which one to get, John Denver. This is a great album. Just with Country Road, rather be in Colorado, Sunshine on My Shoulders. Um, and this has got the great poem on it. So it's called Poems, Prayers and Promises. And the box, it's just a beautiful poem. Um, just about inside the box is war. And telling the kids not to touch the box with its locks and all that. Leave them alone because you don't want to open that box of war. Um, Melanie, another singer-songwriter. A little bit under the radar. Beautiful voice again. Just... Um, candle in the rain, I think this is, yeah, candles in the rain, beautiful, beautiful stuff, so, yeah, Melanie, so you'll find her for a dollar, check it out, it's really nice singer-songwriter stuff. Um, rare Earth, this is a, prog uh, not rare, rare bird, I love the fonts there, um, this is an English progressive rock, not heavy progressive rock, it's a bit more on the softer side, so maybe a little bit, could be a little bit more commercial, but UK band that never really got success in the UK and more successful in Europe. And I don't think they actually, they actually didn't chart an album in the UK. But um, this is cool. This is in 70... I think it's 72. Could have been 74. But that progressive sort of feel. But maybe on the touch softer side. So, good stuff. Epic Forest. This is a great album. I love this album. Um... Another well-known band, but someone that, that just flies a little bit on the radar, I reckon. Violent Femmes, absolutely love this album. Um, just self-titled. Um, amazing songs. Everyone knows Bliss from the Sun, but Kiss Off and Please Don't Go and Add It Up. Um, gone Daddy Gone, Good Feeling. These are great. Three-piece band. I think they're so talented, these guys, and just wanted to show them because I don't think they get much um, airtime on the VC, so Violent Femmes. And I show this album a lot lately, I'll probably just the last time I'll show it for a while. And Tracy Chapman, absolutely perfect album in my opinion. Powerful, meaningful, and just uh, beautiful uh, song, song stress, that's the word. Anyway, that is my Sort of under the radar, but easily accessible, easily found, and hope that fits the bill, Steve. Okay, you look after yourselves, and good luck.